morning guys welcome back to my channel how is everyone doing today so as you can tell background's a little bit different um i'm switching it up today because for one the room i normally do my videos in, i'm kind of moving some videos around and doing a little organization in there and so it's kind of a disaster area and two um i got an electric or we got an electric uh fireplace put in a couple months back and they got to come in today and put the border around it to uh, finish the installation. So I'm kind of just sitting down here uh, waiting for them to show up because right now it looks pretty tacky. It just, uh, it's basically just the actual uh, electric fireplace sitting in the old fireplace and it looks pretty tacky. So they'll come in and they'll put a border around it and make it look good and stuff like that. So, and uh, it's pretty early in the morning. I just got up not that long ago. So I apologize for the uh, bed hair but uh when i was kind of moving some movies around i started finding some of these old movies that i forgot i had so i thought it'd be kind of cool to do a video about uh maybe either you know uh underrated or just kind of forgot about films that maybe people don't quite remember that i thought were you know pretty good little hidden not really hidden gems but just gems if you will and so i have a a stack here of i don't know maybe 10 movies or so and I thought I'd kind of go over it and thought maybe you guys would um, be able to uh, uh, see if these are any movies that you uh, would be interested in seeing. So I just thought I'd throw together this quick little video and uh, yeah, let's delve into it. Let's get started. Uh, the first movie we have is uh, Michael Shannon, Winona Reiner, James Franco, Ray Liotta, and Chris Evans. And it's The Iceman. Try to get it here so it's not in a glare. Uh, this movie is really cool. This movie surprised me. Um, I wasn't expecting much from it, and it was actually quite good. And it tells the story of, uh, let's see if I can get his name right, Richard Kalinsky, I think is how you say it. And he's a hitman for the mob. And it's based on the real Richard Kalinsky. This is a biopic. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's really good. And if you ever get a chance, check out... Uh, I think it's called The Iceman Cometh. It was it's on HBO. I think it might even be on HBO Max still. And it was a documentary which the with the uh, actual guy. Um not really a documentary, just like an interview from prison and it's chilling. It it's it's chilling to watch, but it's very fascinating. Um so yeah, either check that out or check this out too. I'll leave a description uh or I'll leave uh links into the description below for uh all these movies. Excuse me, I gotta have some coffee quick. Mm. Still half asleep, so. Um, next up, we have this is an interesting movie. Um, this tells uh, this is well, it's Elvis and Nixon with Kevin Spacey and Michael Shannon as well. I believe Michael Shannon's in maybe three of these movies I have on here. Yeah, so it's Michael Shannon and Kevin Spacey. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, we don't hear much from Kevin Spacey anymore. But uh, he is quite good playing Richard Nixon in this movie. And Michael Shannon is really good playing Elvis. And basically what this movie is about is about the famous meeting between Elvis and Nixon. And it's just kind of a telling of what that conversation or afternoon that they got together might have been like. So I don't know how much of it is actually factual, how much of it is just made up. But... Um, yeah, it's nonetheless, it's it's interesting. It's a very it's a very interesting film. Um yeah, if you get a chance, check that out. Uh Elvis and Nixon. Uh next up, uh this movie uh, I just realized this case is all broken too. This movie's kinda hard to explain. I've seen it a couple times and I haven't seen it in a long time, but I remember after the first time seeing it, I was like, wow, what was that? That movie was really good. And it's um, it's Ryan Gosling, Eva Mendez, Bradley Cooper, and Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta's in a few of these movies too. That I'm talking about, um, and that's the place beyond the pines. And this movie is hard to explain. It's a very layered movie, uh, but more or less, it's kind of um, Ryan Gosling. Uh, he's trying to provide for his kids. He's kind of down and out on his luck. So he decides that he's going to rob a bank to get money for his family. And Bradley Cooper plays a cop. An incident kind of happens 
between those two, something very significant happens, and it kind of fast forwards kind of to the future, right? Actually, it is to the future, and it kind of shows the impact of that event, um, the impact on the children later on in life. So it's almost like two movies in one, but there's much more to it than that. I mean, it's very hard to explain. I would just recommend watching it. Yeah, it's very layered. It's 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 quite good. Um, it's long, though. I think it's like two, I want to say it's like two and a half hours, but it's, it is definitely worth a watch. So yeah, The Place Beyond the Pines. Next up, we have the uh, first movie that George Clooney ever directed. And in my opinion, really one of the only really good movies that George Clooney ever directed. Unless he did Good Night and Good Luck. That, that movie wasn't too bad either. But this movie is very interesting. I'm a big fan of it. This one surprised the heck out of me too. And that's um, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. And it stars Drew Barrymore, George Clooney, Julia Roberts, and Sam Rockwell. All these movies have pretty good casts. Uh, and what this movie is about is tells, it's a biopic, well, sort of a biopic, tells the story of Chuck Barris, the guy that, you know, created the gong show, and I think it's the newlywed game, or the dating game, one of those games, I can't remember, among, among other, uh, uh, like, reality kind of game shows, um, and what, and basically what happens is, Chuck Barris, a few years back, actually wrote, like, his biography. And in that biography, he claims that while he was doing all this stuff for, I think it was NBC, um, he was also a, uh assassin for the CIA. And this movie basically explores that idea and what it might have been like if what he was claiming was actually true. Because obviously... If you're an assassin for the CIA, the CIA is not going to publicly let you know, let people know that you were an assassin for the CIA. So uh, this is a very interesting movie. One of the coolest endings um, in a movie ever. I, I really enjoyed the ending. This movie is really good. Definitely check this one out. Next up, we have a movie that stars John Cusack and Jack Black, um, and that's High Fidelity. Now, I think there is actually a TV show of this right now, which is based on the book and this movie. And what this movie is about is John Cusack owns a record store and he recently breaks up with his girlfriend and he realizes after he, or he doesn't break up, she breaks up with him and he realizes that he's, he's destined to be alone and doomed and he's never going to find love. And so he goes back and revisits all of his other girlfriends to try to figure out what went wrong in those relationships and try to understand why he's alone all the time. And uh, yeah, this movie is awesome. It has a great soundtrack and a hilarious um, uh, performance by Jack Black. He is so good in this movie. Very underrated. A lot of people don't talk about uh, uh, this movie when they think of Jack Black movies, but he is hilarious in this. Definitely check out High Fidelity. Great soundtrack. Just a cool movie. Next up is another uh, George Clooney movie. He didn't direct this one. This is an Alexander Payne uh, movie, but that is The Descendants. And this basically tells the story of um, George Clooney's wife. Uh, she's in. She recently uh, was in an accident, like a either it was like a boating accident or a skiing accident or something like that, and she ends up in a coma. And George Clooney has to step up and start raising his daughters that he really doesn't know anything about. He was never really that much in the picture. And throughout the movie, you're finding out, you know, secret stuff a little bit about the wife. And yeah, it's just, it's a depressing movie. It is, but it is quite good. It's Alexander Payne. He always does a pretty good job. So yeah, definitely check out The Descendants. Next up, we have a movie that stars Andrew Garfield, Michael Shannon, and Laura Dern. Like I said, Michael Shannon's in like two or three of these movies. And it's about the um, the the house market crash. Was it 2008? Maybe that happened. I don't remember. And uh, it's the movie 99 Homes. And basically, you have Andrew Garfield who gets evicted from his house and ends up working for Michael Shannon, who's doing some criminal type stuff, you know, um, real estate stuff, but he's bending the rules. He's, he's definitely not playing by the rules. And Andrew Garfield kind of to support his family kind of starts becoming a little bit of a criminal himself and starts, um, 
starts becoming the person that he hated uh, at the beginning of the movie. And he starts evicting people from their homes. And yeah, it's it's a crazy movie. Um, so yeah, there was this one. And I think there was it the big, the big short or the big shot or whatever that movie was by Adam McKay. I think were like the two of the three um, house market crash movies that came out that year. But uh, this one really fell under the radar, and uh, it's quite good. You should definitely check it out. Next up, we have a, another John Cusack movie, but it has John Cusack, Mini Driver, Alan Arkin, and Dan Aykroyd, and that is Gross Point Blank. This movie is absolutely hilarious. I remember the first time I saw it, I, I went into it not really knowing much about it, and I was very surprised. It was super funny, cool soundtrack. Just all around uh, a great movie. And basically, John Cusack um, grew up in Gross Point, Michigan. And he left Mini Driver on prom night. Kind of just disappeared. And nobody knew what happened to him. And he ends up becoming um, an assassin. Or a hit, just a hitman. And he ends up taking a job um, in Gross Point. And he... Uh, it happens to be the same weekend that his high school reunion's going on. So he goes back to town, um, has to reconnect with her, goes to his high school reunion. Nobody knows he's a hitman. It's This is a great movie. Definitely check out Gross Point Blank. Next up, we have a movie that uh, I've only seen a couple times, but I quite enjoyed. It has Steve Carell. Um, was it Tony Collette? The is that her name? Tony Collette, Allison Janney, Sam Rockwell, Maya Rudolph, and Liam James. And that is The Way, Way Back. And basically, this tells the story of this kid, and I forget what his name is, who's going to this uh, summer vacation home of Steve Carell, his mom's new boyfriend or husband I can't I can't remember which and Steve Carell's an asshole in this he just he's just kind of a jerk treats this kid like complete crap and um just very very insulting to him and so he doesn't want to spend a lot of time at the beach house so he kind of spends a lot of time going around by himself and one day he stumbles across this water park where he's confronted by um Sam Rockwell who's kind of the fun loving kind of boss he might be the owner I'm not 100% sure um but he he confronts this kid gives him a job and he kind of becomes like an adult figure in his life it's kind of a coming of age story it's a very very sweet um movie uh with tons of comedy Sam Rockwell is absolutely hilarious and it's very weird because I think this is the first movie I saw Steve Carell in um after I had you know been watching The Office and it is a far different role then you see him in the office. You, you don't like him in this movie. He's just, he's a, he's an asshole. And, uh, but yeah, it's very good. I definitely recommend this. The Way, Way Back. And last on this list is a movie with Matthew McConaughey, Emily Hirsch, Juno Temple, Gina Gershon, and Thomas Hayden Church. It's a William, I, I can never say his name right. It's William freaking, freaking, whatever. I think he's the same guy who did, like, The Exorcist. And I believe he also did, um, uh... Oh my goodness, with Popeye Doyle, what is the name? The French Connection, I, I think that's the same guy. He uh, did this movie, it's a smaller budget movie, and that's Killer Joe. And basically, Matthew McConaughey plays a detective who is like also a hitman, and um, one of the other characters, I can't remember which one it was, um, hires him to kill off his mother for the life insurance policy so that he can pay off his debt. And he's unable to pay Matthew McConaughey up front. So Matthew McConaughey kidnaps this guy's sister and holds her as a retainer until he's able to pay. This movie's a little brutal. Um, I remember there are a few, few scenes that I, I was like, oof, this is, this is uncomfortable. But uh, it, it is definitely good. It's not for everyone. So viewer beware. This one is a little bit of a hard watch from what I remember. Uh but it is it is quite good, and I do I do still recommend it. So if you ever get a chance, check out uh, Killer Joe. So that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let's me know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.